When astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on June 5th, they thought they'd be back in a very short amount of time. The two were test driving Boeing's newest spaceship, called Starliner. All they had to do was put it through its paces, dock briefly with the International Space Station, and come home. The entire mission was supposed to last around a week. Instead, a series of leaks and malfunctions have caused NASA to indefinitely delay the duo's return. The development of Starliner has not been smooth at all. During its first test flight in 2019, which didn't have people on board, it failed to reach its expected orbit. The problem was later traced to an onboard clock that was set incorrectly, causing the Starliner's thrusters to fire at the wrong time. Starliner never made it to the ISS on that trip, and NASA required a second test flight without any astronauts. When it launched again in 2022, two thrusters on Starliner failed to fire as expected. It successfully switched to backup thrusters and docked to the space station. Astronauts were finally supposed to launch last year, but then Boeing found two more problems with the spacecraft. Issues with the parachute system that would allow them to float back to Earth, and tape used to hold wiring that posed a potential fire risk. Fixing both issues pushed back the launch to this spring. Finally, Williams and Wilmore were strapped in on May 6th when more problems appeared. A stuck valve on the rocket launching Starliner had to be replaced, and mission engineers discovered the Starliner itself was leaking helium. The Starliner spacecraft, developed by Boeing under NASA's commercial crew program, was intended to provide a reliable means of transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. However, its development has been marred by a series of setbacks. During its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, Starliner failed to reach its intended orbit due to a timing error in its onboard clock, which caused the thrusters to fire incorrectly. This error prevented the spacecraft from docking with the ISS, a critical part of the mission. Following this failure, NASA mandated another uncrewed test flight, which took place in 2022. Although the spacecraft successfully reached the ISS, the mission was not without issues. Two of the Starliner's thrusters failed to fire out as expected, forcing the spacecraft to rely on backup thrusters. Despite these challenges, the mission was considered a partial success, demonstrating the spacecraft's ability to reach the ISS and return safely. The first crewed mission, originally scheduled for 2022, was delayed multiple times due to additional technical problems. These included issues with the parachute system, which is crucial for the safe return of the spacecraft and its crew, and concerns about the tape used to secure wiring, which posed a potential fire risk. Addressing these issues required significant time and effort, pushing the launch date into 2023. On May 6, 2023, Wilmore and Williams were finally strapped into the Starliner for its first crewed mission. However, just before launch, a stuck valve on the rocket launching the spacecraft had to be replaced. Additionally, engineers discovered a helium leak in the Starliner itself, further complicating the mission. Despite these setbacks, the spacecraft successfully launched and docked with the ISS on June 6. Once docked at the ISS, the Starliner faced more technical difficulties. The most concerning were helium leaks and malfunctions in the thrusters. Helium is used in spacecraft systems to pressurize fuel tanks, and leaks could pose a significant risk to the mission. Engineers on the ground conducted extensive tests to understand the root cause of these leaks and thruster malfunctions. They discovered that heat buildup in the thrusters might cause Teflon seals to bulge, restricting the flow of propellant and potentially leading to the thrusters shutting down unexpectedly. Ground tests at a site in New Mexico involved firing the test engines over 1,000 times to replicate the conditions encountered during the mission. These tests helped engineers gain a better understanding of the issues, but also raised concerns about the potential dangers of using the thrusters on the return journey. As a result, NASA and Boeing decided against allowing the astronauts to manually control the spacecraft during re-entry, as manual maneuvering had been found to put additional stress on the thrusters. The helium leaks are another critical issue that has yet to be fully resolved. Engineers believe that the seals within the helium system may have degraded due to prolonged exposure to propellant vapors. This degradation could lead to increased leak rates over time, 
potentially compromising the spacecraft's ability to maintain the necessary pressure in its systems. Tests conducted on a ground-based version of the Starliner service module, which had been exposed to propellant for an extended period, provided valuable insights into the severity of this issue. To address the helium leak problem, engineers have proposed replacing the affected seals with materials less susceptible to degradation. This solution could help mitigate the issue in future missions, but it remains uncertain whether the current Starliner spacecraft can safely bring the astronauts back to Earth. The extent of the helium leaks and their potential impact on the spacecraft's systems are still under investigation, and further testing is required to determine the spacecraft's readiness for re-entry. The safety of astronauts Wilmore and Williams remains the top priority for NASA and Boeing. While there is a strong desire to complete the mission using the Starliner spacecraft, contingency plans are being considered. These plans could involve using another spacecraft to return the astronauts if the Starliner is deemed unsafe for the journey back. The decision will depend on the results of ongoing tests and analyses, including further testing of the thrusters and helium systems. NASA has indicated that the Starliner can remain in space for up to 90 days, providing some flexibility in timing the return. However, the longer the spacecraft remains docked at the ISS, the greater the uncertainty regarding the condition of its systems. Engineers are closely monitoring the situation and conducting additional tests to ensure that any potential risks are fully understood and mitigated. The challenges faced by the Starliner mission have broader implications for NASA's commercial crew program and the future of commercial spaceflight. The program aims to provide reliable and cost-effective transportation to the ISS, reducing dependence on Russian Soyuz spacecraft and opening up new opportunities for commercial and international partners. The setbacks with Starliner highlight the difficulties of developing new spacecraft and the importance of rigorous testing and validation. The experience gained from the Starliner mission will inform future efforts to improve spacecraft design and operational procedures. Although Boeing is facing significant challenges with the Starliner project, SpaceX is also encountering considerable difficulties with its Falcon Heavy rocket. The Falcon Heavy represents a significant milestone in modern rocketry. However, recent developments have raised questions about its future, particularly concerning its mission schedule and role in the aerospace industry. The Falcon Heavy first launched in February 2018, marking its debut with a remarkable test flight that placed a Tesla Roadster owned by SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, into orbit around the sun. This mission demonstrated the rocket's potential to carry heavy payloads beyond Earth's orbit, making it a valuable asset for future space missions. Since then, Falcon Heavy has completed nine missions, the latest of which occurred in December 2023 when it successfully launched the U.S. Space Force's robotic X-37B spaceplane into Earth orbit. Falcon Heavy's design features three Falcon 9 boosters, giving it a total of 27 engines capable of generating over 5 million pounds of thrust. This design enables it to lift payloads of up to 63,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit, making it an ideal choice for heavy and complex missions. Despite its impressive track record, the rocket has faced challenges that may impact its deployment in the coming years. The year 2023 was a standout period for SpaceX, with Falcon Heavy conducting five successful launches, the most in a single year since its debut. This success raised high expectations for 2024, especially as other SpaceX vehicles, such as the Falcon 9 and the Starship, continued to make significant progress. The excitement was palpable when Falcon Heavy launched the GEUS mission on June 25, 2024, yet subsequent developments have dampened this enthusiasm. SpaceX had planned two major missions for Falcon Heavy in the latter half of 2024, the launch of NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft and the Griffin mission, which included the Viper Lunar Rover. The Europa Clipper mission aims to explore Jupiter's moon Europa, a prime candidate for finding extraterrestrial life due to its subsurface ocean. However, recent issues with the spacecraft's electronics, particularly concerning transistor failures under high radiation, have cast doubt on the scheduled launch. NASA announced these problems on July 11, 2024, raising concerns that the mission might be postponed to 2025 or even 2026. 
the situation for the Griffin mission is even more uncertain. Initially scheduled for launch in November 2024, this mission faced significant budgetary constraints. NASA decided to cancel the Viper rover component due to high costs, despite the rover being fully assembled and undergoing environmental testing. The Griffin lander, which was to deliver Viper to the moon's south pole, remains in limbo, with no firm launch date set. The potential delays or cancellations of these missions highlight a broader issue within the aerospace industry. While Falcon Heavy remains a reliable and capable rocket, its utilization depends heavily on the readiness and funding of the payloads it is contracted to launch. The recent setbacks are not due to any technical shortcomings of the Falcon Heavy itself, but rather to issues with the payloads and broader financial constraints faced by NASA and other partners. This uncertainty comes at a time when SpaceX is dealing with other challenges. The Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse rocket, recently faced operational pauses due to a mishap that required investigation. Since Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 share similar systems, this incident has also raised concerns about potential impacts on Falcon Heavy's operations. Despite these challenges, the future of Falcon Heavy is not bleak. SpaceX has secured contracts for several high-profile missions, including those under the U.S. National Security Space Launch NSSL, program. In June 2024, the Pentagon announced Phase 3 of the NSSL contract, which includes at least 30 missions. While the specifics of the allocations have not been fully detailed, SpaceX is expected to play a significant role, especially given the delays faced by competitors like Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance ULA. Looking forward, the key to Falcon Heavy's continued success will be its ability to maintain its reliability and adaptability. The rocket has proven its capability with a flawless mission success rate, and future innovation, such as attempting to land all three boosters, could enhance its reusability and cost-effectiveness. As the aerospace industry evolves, Falcon Heavy's versatility may allow it to undertake a wide range of missions, from commercial satellite deployments to ambitious deep space explorations. The challenges faced by Falcon Heavy in 2024 may be seen as a temporary setback rather than a long-term decline. While the number of missions may decrease this year, the potential for future launches remains strong, especially with the continued expansion of SpaceX's contract portfolio. The rocket's impressive capabilities, combined with SpaceX's innovative approach, suggest that Falcon Heavy will continue to play a crucial role in space exploration and commercial launches. As the industry anticipates the arrival of SpaceX's Starship, which promises even greater capabilities, Falcon Heavy's role may shift. However, its proven track record and the ongoing demand for heavy lift launch vehicles ensure that it will remain a key player in the aerospace sector for years to come. If you found this information enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on space missions and scientific discoveries.